Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working in the root cellar to turn it into a fallout shelter. At the time of this recording, uh, we've got the whole situation with Russia and Ukraine, and possibly at this point it looks like maybe some of the other Baltic states. Uh, this root cellar was always designed to be able to be used if the need arose as a fallout shelter. It was never completely finished though, so that's what I'm kind of working on this week is adding some of the features to make it so that this could be used as a fallout shelter. And the thing specifically that I'm working on today, if you can't uh, figure it out just by looking, is bunk beds right here. We've got three bunk beds. Uh, uh, each of them is built uh, with kind of a 2x4 frame. The 2x4 frame is lagged into the wall using tap uh, Tapcon screws. And uh, uh, across each of these uh, horizontal pieces, I stuck a, a piece of strapping there, this 1x3 board, and I'm using that to support these little bed boards that I'm sitting in right there. I already pre-marked um, uh, where these all go. I've got them at 5 inch increments, so uh, uh, the distance between this surface here and this surface here is 5 inches. And uh, so far it's going pretty well. You can see river is up above me. On top of these uh, bed boards, what I'm adding is a piece of fiber board. I bought these, uh, actually they're just right next to you over here, these uh, four, uh, two by four, uh, two foot by four foot uh, in, uh, sheets. Uh, and those are being set right on, uh, on top here. And it makes a pretty nice smooth surface, don't you like it? Yeah. So, you know, the idea here is to, you know, make an environment that you could, uh, you know, live within and be protected from the outside environment for a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm looking at it kind of like, it's like a Mars base. You know, you, you want to be protected from the, the harsh uh, outside uh, environment of Mars. So, uh, you know, we're creating this little space station in here, which makes it just seem a little bit more fun. <laughs> the aggravating reality of what it actually is. Um, in terms of uh, uh, you know other projects that I'm going to be doing on here, I'm going to be uh, starting with things that kind of have du dual use. Now these uh, I mentioned they're bunk beds, but let's say everything cools down over in Eastern Europe, which you know, gosh, we all hope that it does, uh, and you know we're, we're like, oh, well, thank God we don't we don't need a fallout shelter anymore. Well, these very clearly are some three really uh, overbuilt strong shelves. This place has worked out really well as a root cellar for the past year or so. Whenever there's a sale at the grocery store and there's a bunch of squash or something like that on sale that I've got, you know, it's way more than I could fit in my refrigerator, I've got this space in here and I've been able to take advantage of a lot of sales, save a lot of money, and you know, with the garden coming in this year, I'd like to be able to move a lot of that stuff in here. It's been a really useful space. So the projects that I'm working on, in the same way that I built this root cellar that could all, I'm sorry, I built a fallout shelter that could also be used as a root cellar, uh, you know, it's one way of looking at it. Uh, I want to be, be building projects like I want to build these bunks that could also be used as shelves. So I'm starting with those things. So if things kind of simmer down over in Eastern Europe, I don't feel like I blew a bunch of time building, you know, a lot of specific things. As time goes forward, there are some specific things that I'm going to be putting in here. We've got a waste management system that we're going to be working on in terms of like, you know, number one and number two, if you know what I mean, coming out of people. Uh, we're going to be working on that. Uh, you know, there's, other, oh, there's a, a plenty of other things. but. I'm starting off focusing on the things that kind of give me that double benefit, where even if things cool off, uh, and like I said, we all hope that they do, uh, you know, I won't feel like, oh, I blew all that, you know, I blew days and days working on this thing that I'm not going to actually end up needing. These shelves, they're going to be useful either way. And either way, we're going to have a fun camp out in here, right? Yeah, we're planning on doing a camp out. Once we get it basically set, we're going to, like, try it out for about 12 hours. You know, it's, it's a very narrow kind of camp out, but... Uh, the best way, you know, if you're ever going to bug out in the woods, the best way to find out, uh, you know, what you need is to, like, go camping. And you find out right away, like, oh, I, I forgot this, I forgot this, I forgot this. So we're going to be doing kind of a, a dry run of this uh, once we get it all ready so that we can figure out, you know, what are the things that we wish that we had gotten so that we can get them when it's not, like, clicking with radiation outside. So that's it. If you're interested in a series about building your own fallout shelter, unfortunately, that's what this series is turning into now. That's it. Thanks for watching.